Loss of hearing can be caused by many different factors. I am not a doctor, audiologist or healthcare professional. Do not rely on any information contained in this video and always seek and follow the advice of your healthcare provider. Hi and welcome to Hearing in Australia. My name is Nick. And if you're watching this, you either have or thinking about going and getting a hearing test uh, because your friends and family or work colleagues are complaining that you can't hear them or understand them. And believe me, I have been there and I know the conversation oh too well and I have covered this in uh, video number one. So if you want to look at that, go back and have a look at that. But I just wanted to talk to you about the actual hearing test itself in case you haven't had one and you, you're going to have one. It's, uh, it's in, the way that a hearing test works is that they take generally speaking not always but generally speaking eight different frequencies from a low range uh, what we would know by my generation would call bass right through mid-range to treble okay or high range so they pick different frequencies or different points along that frequency range and they play you a sound at those different frequencies and depending on how much hearing loss you have the more they have to amplify it now it is around the opposite way because as it goes down it's actually increasing the amplification there then you might hear it so what generally happens uh, to us older Australians is that your, your baseline will be generally speaking close to normal and then as you progress up through mid-range and treble you will have a hearing loss and my um, uh, audiology report uh, shows exactly that and I'll just post it right there for you so you can see it um, and so the temptation is that you've decided to go and get a hearing test and you think okay well you know if I'm going to do this I might as well you know, get it uh, so it works really well and and uh, as they play the sound and it comes down that particular frequency you might hear it at this point but think to yourself oh no I'll just wait a little bit till it gets a little bit louder and then I'll press the button or the indicator whatever it is that they've got to measure it now, how a hearing aid works is that it actually divides the sounds up into those frequencies and at each of those particular frequencies, it amplifies that particular frequency up to the normal range. So if your normal range is here and your hearing is here and you let it drop lower, then all that happens is that the hearing aid will be programmed to amplify it beyond normal into higher than normal. So what happens is that especially at the really high ends frequencies is that if you if you leave that and don't click that button as soon as you hear that sound they will then amplify that sound to above normal and it is very uncomfortable because all you'll hear is that crinkling sound uh, scrunching of a plastic bag will sound you know very very loud um, and it'll be this terrible high-end sort of treble sound and look you just won't wear your hearing aids because they'll just be uncomfortable so just remember that it's it, all they're doing is bringing that loss frequency uh, normally at the high end back up to a normal range so as you can hear um, hear those higher frequencies and uh, then you'll be able to understand speech again okay although you can hear the low range that's the the sound it's the high range where the where the um understanding of the words come from the s's the f's the d's the e's those uh, higher end um, vowels and syllables is where you actually start to understand what the words are so if you're finding that you're staring at someone's lips and and tilting your head to try and hear them yeah you definitely go and get a hearing test i really encourage it um, and uh, then you'll be able to see what uh, what what your loss is um, and if you do decide to go down the road of uh, hearing aids then at least uh, they can be programmed to bring that hearing up into normal range um, so as you can hear those um, those sounds again and it'll bring you back into the conversation so just remember that it's usually eight points that they will test you eight different frequencies from bass through mid-range to treble um, and it's that then they'll be given the indication of what your hearing loss is at those higher ends and my my hearing loss is as you saw from uh, my audiology report is is very much like that it's a higher end that i've lost so um, i just wanted to uh, let let people know about that just do it do it as um, as you instructed and um, and you'll get the right result and consequently if you do decide to go ahead with some hearing aids at least you'll get hearing aids that will work for you so um, good luck if that's what you're going to do 
And if you have had a hearing aid, but you find your hearing aids are uncomfortable, go get your ears tested again. Right? And then and if you get, went to a, a, a shop front, uh, you know, get them to adjust it uh, because they don't have to be uncomfortable. It can be a great experience. Um, and, uh, and, and believe me, uh, my wife tells me all, all the time how great it is that I can actually understand uh, her, her, what she's saying to me without saying, pardon, you know, all, all this sort of stuff. I didn't hear you or whatever. Um, yeah, it's very annoying for you as the individual and it's very annoying for the, the loved one or the, or the people that you're trying to communicate with as well. And, and quite frankly, it can be a bit embarrassing in, in crowded situations because you're just out of the conversation because you just can't understand what people are saying. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say in this one. Thank you for watching and um, ciao for now.